good day everyone this is dc37 and today i will be showing you how to create your own custom renders in photoshop now i know that on the last video i've said that the next video will be about meta uh, installing alternate attires and gfx however by the time of this recording there is a new patch coming up the dlc for wade barrett and as i've said on that video whenever there is a new patch you have to download the new meta as well because they will be updating meta and i've heard also by greeks that they have a big update for meta i guess so i guess we'll have to wait when all of these uh settle down all the updates and patches and then we will have the tutorial probably at that time it's been a while uh i've took a short hiatus for making tutorials uh, i've relaxed myself a bit uh, we finally reached 1,000 subscribers, so thank you so much everyone for your support, especially for my Patreon supporters. I will display them on the screen. Thank you so much for all the stuffs. I'm sorry, there are a lot of comments that I have not responded during my hiatus. I will try and do my best to respond to them one by one, hopefully, hopefully. For this tutorial, you will need to have four things. First is a Photoshop. Uh, you can get Photoshop on Adobe. I think you can use GIMP. I don't know how to use GIMP though so hopefully in the future probably I'll make another video of it uh, if you guys want it but for now we're gonna use Photoshop this is like the number one editing software the next thing that you're gonna need is the Intel Texture Works plugin I'm gonna download this on a website I'm gonna show you that uh, in a bit next is of course cake tools and also a custom render must be a transparent png file so for this tutorial we are going to change the render for roman reigns with this i'm gonna use wolfpack as well or you know if you have mod injector and if you don't have my tools you can download them i'll put the link in the description and also i'm gonna show you how to do this manually without any tools as well before we begin if you haven't already please uh, subscribe to my channel for more tutorials and more wrestling stuff like that i think in the future i'll also be covering starfield modding because you know i'm very very excited for that game but most of the time i will be posting uh, wrestling related content here especially uh, mods for 2k23 or even 2k24 in the future uh, like this video and comment down if you have any inquiries thanks okay so let's start okay the very first thing that you're gonna need to do is you need to download the intel works plugin for photoshop i'm gonna put the link in the description and if you uh, click that link it will you know land you in this page you just need to click download a plugin it will download the plugin for you we're gonna install this on photoshop so on your photoshop you need to go to the install directory for your photoshop like this here i've installed adobe photoshop beta this would work normally on a standard version of photoshop so go to your photoshop folder i think it's on program files and then adobe and then adobe photoshop and you need to click on plugins so go ahead and click the download plugin and click the uh this one is zip it will download the plugin for you so opening the plugin we will have this intel works 1.0.4 open the uh plugins this one x64 and then this one as well now if you have a 32-bit system i think you need to use this but uh, i think most of our computers nowadays are x64 so you need to use the x64 and you need to extract this to that plugins folder that i've shown you earlier we're gonna need to drag this and put it in here and I'm just click continue so now we have installed the plugin that we need so that we can view the WWE texture files. The next step is we need to extract an existing render so that we need to follow the proper dimensions, you know, the, the proper placement of the picture. We're gonna use cake tools for that. So open up your cake tools, open bake file uh, 07 here and go to UI assets 2K20 texture. 2k20 renders superstars and type a now you can grab whoever you want here uh, preferably you need to find someone that you're gonna replace but you know i have wolfpack or a mod injector i don't care for the, the naming format anymore because you know that tool can just yeah, you know do it for me wolfpack and mod injector is very useful i mean if you don't have those tools and if you don't you know want to use those tools you can also you know if you need to find someone here you need to find the exact wrestler that you need to replace the render i'm just gonna use whoever here it doesn't matter because again i have those tools so uh, i'll just use um probably cody Rhodes. so double click cody Rhodes here 
there we go my boy cody and you need to extract this file this texture file so click this one extract i'm just gonna put it uh in a folder that i have already created so in here i'll just save it file exported the next thing is i'm gonna link this uh, page this is a very nice render by vmoz it's on deviant art now there are a lot of uh, renders that you can download there you can use so you can use you know search just search whoever you want here again if you want to make the render yourself you could go ahead and do that just make sure that you have a transparent background so yeah this is what i'm gonna use as you can see i already download this so the next step is we need to open photoshop and open the extracted cody Rhodes render so that you know we're gonna use that as some sort of like a template okay so now we have photoshop open we need to drag our extracted render this will be our template here just you know, drag this in your photoshop and now the pop-up will appear just don't click that just leave that and check click ok and now we have our boy cody in here previously this will not work if you have not again installed the intelworks plugin so that's the very first thing that we did right now don't skip that if you skip that there will probably be an error or it will display you know a very weird manner the next thing is you need to again drag roman reigns here our boy roman so you need to like whoever wrestler that you choose you need to use this as some sort of like a placeholder template you need to resize our boy roman here to fit on the uh template uh, this is very very specific thing you could make it big you know small but i'm just gonna use this so that we will have like a like some sort of like a perfect render I mean, the size, the dimensions. So I guess that's okay. I guess that's good. Once you have that, you can just hide this layer or you can delete this yourself. I'm just going to delete that. And then we need to then save this as a DDS file. Go ahead and click file and then save as. Be sure it's on Intel Textureworks DDS. So I'm just going to rename this Roman render like this and if you click save it will have a pop-up here now this is very important on the texture type you need to change this to color plus alpha change that to this for the compression just leave it at linear don't change that and then just click ok so now we have our new roman render the next thing is we're gonna need to copy this to our mods folder just like how you install you know a render mod so for this tutorial i'm gonna use my wolf pack so here is wolf pack if you don't have this you can get this on my patreon you know you can support me on patreon and you will have this for free there if you don't have this you can also use mod injector if you don't want to use mod injector then you can just do it manually you need to rename the template the dds file that we just created search roman here and now we have this roman reigns this one uh, this is it the 368 i'm just gonna uh right click uh, inject mod inject render mod i'm gonna name this uh, custom uh, whatever you can type whatever you want here custom roman render and then browse the dds file this one roman render i'm just gonna click open and inject so render injected successfully now if we go on to our uh, roman reigns over here it says uh custom uh roman render so that's that is now installed just we're just gonna browse this so it's in here if you have wolfpack it will be in your wolfpack folder here ui assets you know all this stuff already created for you so there roman reigns if you have mod injector it's probably there in the bake folder on which you uh choose however if you don't have those tools uh you can just open your bake folder example here big 51 here you can just like copy this this folder uh the path ui assets and then to get texture to get to the render superstars type a and then you can paste your render file here and you need to rename it just like this one so yeah so the last step now is you need to bake your bake folder using cake tools so here we are in my uh cake tools I'm just gonna bake this quickly. I'm gonna bake my wolf pack here, put it on 51. And we're gonna open the game and see if it works. Okay, so now we are in the game. I'm sorry if there's a lot of noise. It's actually storming here right now. Uh, heavy rains. So yeah, please excuse that. Uh, let's go to our roster here. Let's go to Roman Reigns. Uh, oh. Roman or Reigns. Oh, here we are. The uh, render that we have installed. Yeah, looking nice, right? There we go. Roman Reigns. So let's try and do a quick match to see the loading screen. So here, Roman Reigns. It's working properly. And uh, this is the rock. So yeah, there we go. Uh, I can, as you can see, uh, the uh, Roman render is a little bit uh, bigger than the rock. But I think that's okay. You can just adjust it whatever you want. So yeah, that's it guys. That's how you create a costume uh, render using a Photoshop. 
thank you so much for watching and uh, please comment down if you have any inquiries any questions and if you haven't again uh, subscribe to this channel for more wwe tutorials wrestling content and even starfield modding in the future stuff like that thank you guys peace out and see you in the next video